Hey everyone, it's Nancy and I am here with a video as part of the Style Crafters design team. And I guess this is my first official project since my other one, my video just will not save. So y'all just make sure to check her store out. It's stylecrafters.com. I'll put the link down below for you. And if you use the code NANCYFANS, you will receive 10% uh, off your $35 dollar or more order so make sure to use your coupon code and get that discount so this is the shadow box that I created it's the hexagon shadow box I will also put a link for that down below and I have it laying down just so you can kind of see the inside because these hearts are actually hanging so they'll kind of get all over the place crazy when I'm trying to show you so I put I first I painted the box and then I distressed it and just different um, distress inks just using it old school with the ink applicator and then spraying it with water like we do on tags and I did that all the way around and then just for looks I just used some of the Tim Holtz tissue tape you know just all the way around the box on the outside on the, and on the inside and you can see there that the inside is really distressed as well that was so much fun and so these are my little dangling hearts and they are attached under here and they are the old you know the old country wooden things that everybody used to collect well these were the little wood hearts that were attached by the jute and I took them off the jute and put them on the chain and I also distressed those and put the tissue tape around their edges so on the inside of the box there is a heart doily in the very back back here and then one of those Kaiser Craft wood frames and then there's an adore bingo card and then this is a heart from a necklace that I had that broke so I just put it in there I love that heart I've always loved that heart and then under there the brown that's some of that old Prima felt uh, ribbon or I wouldn't even call it ribbon and then the Mr. and Mrs. this is wood as well and I got it at Michael's and I just distressed it and then there's the number 27 because we got married June 27th of last year so it's almost our one year anniversary and those have also been distressed the numbers have and then there's a bling piece here one here and then this is just a keyhole so that is the inside of my shadow box the filigree top was also distressed and I love this this is a beautiful piece beautiful piece but on the side I just dyed some seam binding and tied some jute here and then made a little dangly charm has a clock with a game small game spinner on it because we always say that it's just about spending time together and then a J for my husband and an N for me and then a key here and it says dreams and then these are the Tim Holtz little pearls so that is my shadow box and I had a blast doing it. I have distress and distress and distress and just had so much fun just getting grungy. I love it. But on the metals I actually colored them with sprays. Uh, I used a Lindy's. Which one is that? The Moonshadow Smoky Sapphire and then I used the Adirondack color wash and when I sprayed the metal and then um, tried to heat set it they were the color was literally popping off like little springs so I figured out how to get the metals to take the color um, and if y'all want me to I'll do a video for that I mean I'm sure you know other people have figured it out but I was able to get it done and I really like how it turned out without having to paint you know the metal or use alcohol inks or whatever that's just using my sprays you can see that and I did it on the key as well 
can see what she has done. Well, it doesn't want to show you. But I did do the key as well. And this little keyhole. So. But that is my project. And I absolutely love it. If you have any questions for me, just let me know. Don't forget to check out Saw's site. I will put the link for you down below. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.